Okay, so the first thing uh, what we will, uh, we're going to do now is um, uh, the, the students will uh, explain you um, uh, how to program simple robots uh, so as you learn a little bit or so as you, you can understand uh, a little bit the program they've done. And then they'll explain you the exercise. Uh, they'll describe the, the challenge. Uh, they'll explain the programs and how they build the robots, and uh, they'll make a demonstration. So everything you'll see, uh, it's been built and programmed by the students. Uh, it's been done in six days, I think, of work. Six, only six days. Uh, they've covered a program, a, a one-year program, uh, and they've done that in, uh, I think, uh, in seven days. So, you know, it's... Um, Carrying uh, all these uh, intensive courses is very interesting, but there's a lot to learn and um, in very, very little time. So uh, for them, it's been a little bit difficult first uh, to do all such ambitious program. And then, as I was saying, uh, working in teams. And it's very interesting because we had a very uh, varied mix of talents. You know, we have some students that are extremely good at building, extremely good. I, I never had. A student, some students like that. Uh, others uh, that prefer programming. So, you know, because of these different talents, they, 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 they've been fighting a little bit. And uh, that's very interesting because it takes them a while to realize that uh, this is a common project and they should, instead of fighting, they have to learn from each other. Of course, if you do this through a year, it's much, much easier for them. Uh, but anyway. Uh, Everything you see is being done by, by them. Uh, they're gonna ha they're gonna try to, to explain that. For some of them, it's a little bit difficult because of the English. Uh, but let's see. Okay. So you want to start? Okay. So that's um, one program that we use to go f the robot go forward. And then it starts motor B. And immediately after, it starts motor C. And immediately after, it stops the motor B. So the motor C is going to um, the one rotation. Um, then, we one thing that we need to do it's always change the power because if we put at the hundred percent it's going to slide so we put at 15 percent then there are different types of of direction go forward and backwards and this is to stop the two motors on or one of those motors. Then it's to to change uh, the duration of the motor. Unlimited that it never stops. Um, but if you put this weight, uh, this block, it's going to stop. Okay. So basically. What does the first block do? Um, start rotating. Okay. And immediately after, it starts yeah. motor C with one, one rotation. rotation. And? It after stops, one rotation, it mo stops motor, B. motor B, so it's going only go forward. Okay, but who's controlling uh, how far does the robot go? Motor C. Motor C, right? Okay, let's try. I, I just download it, so to download the, the program, so basically, you write your program uh, on the computer, you connect the computer to the robot, and you download it. I was too fast, but you press here, and you download. So compiling means tra uh, translating uh, this graphical code into a code that the robot can, can understand. So try it. Okay. It goes forward one rotation. Okay, next step. Now this is a more easy thing to do and that is 
did this move block and it starts the two motors so it's like the other one but then it's more easy to do right it uses one block right and so it what, can what does it what does this uh, block do it takes care of and um, how many rotations yeah I mean, it synchronizes synchronizes the two motors yeah. right so what's the difference between this one and the other one? That <laughs> this one is more easy. <laughs> what? <laughs> if you want to go forward, but if, what about if you want to turn? Go to the to the the, the other one. So Francis, you explained before that here. You can change, you can do different speeds on the different motors, you can even change the direction, so this structure is more versatile, right? But this is like the move block, the same thing. But change, for example, here, sorry, go to the other exercise and, and change, for example, uh, no, uh, exercise one, and change, for example, the speed, the speed of one, for example, don't load it to the robot. So what will the robot do if motor B is in the right and motor C in the left? Uh, yeah, you are the professor. <laughs> ask them. Turn. Because it goes... Well, no, you have, you're supposed to ask them. What will the robot do? Yeah. Motor C is in the, in the left, motor B in the right. So Victor increase the speed of motor C. So what will the robot do? Ask them. What will the robot do? Any idea? Turn. Turn? Turn. 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 To what side? Uh, which side is C on uh, B is right, C is left. C is going faster. Turn left. Turn, turn, right. turn right. Right? Turn right. Let's try it. Okay. Turn right one rotation. What about if we change? Well, I think it was, you know, we can increase the number of rotations. I see it turns a little bit left. What about if we change direction? Yeah, for example. Yeah, the direction of, yeah, for example. I'll put back the same speed as the other one. Okay. What would the robot do here? Okay. So it's quite a So what would the robot do? Any crazy idea? What is it Okay, what, what, what he's done now is he's changed the direction of the motors. One goes forward, the other one goes backwards, but at the same speed. It's going to stay in the same place. Okay, it will stay. I think. You think? What would the robot do? Well, maybe it will spin. Spin. Uh -huh. spot. Yeah. Yeah? No, this is called an axis turn. Okay? Okay, let's move on. Next exercise, three. Um, this is a uh, uh, loop that the thing that it does, it goes unlimited. Yeah. So that's going to be forward all the time. And wh when you, do you think that it go, it's going to stop? If it's unlimited, it's not going to stop. Okay, but nothing is forever. <laughs> Until the battery Very good. Until the battery solid. Go on. Okay. 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 The sensor that you can change with other sensors that are the, um, the light sensor, the touch sensor, and that it means that the two motors go going forward and they are inside the loop. When it detects an obstacle, it goes out of the loop and it just stops the, the two motors. Very good. 
So, Pastor Superman? Yeah. So the point is that, no, 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 no. Pastor Superman, I don't know. Don't worry, to the Lord. So the point is that you need to find a way to get out of a loop, right? So you can associate a loop to any sensor, time, whatever. So, if we do this. Actually, well, actually, I think we have the, well, yeah, supposed to be closer, right? So let's try it again. Stop when it is an obstacle. Ah, the last one. Um, there's a new thing that it looks like a... Uh, uh, It's the switch and it looks like the loop, but it's not the same. Now, um, the light sense... Wait, wait, wait. We have, here we have a switch inside the loop. Yes. Right? <laughs> uh, so what does this program do? Um, there's the light sensor and when the light sensor sees black, it just stops motor B. And immediately after, um, starts motor shift. And if she's white, it's going to stop motor shift, and it's going to uh, start motor B. So it's going to do like that. Yeah. Uh, and if it sees an obstacle, it's going out of the loop and stops the two motors. OK, but how is the light sensor uh, built into the robot? Because that's the light sensor. Right? Otherwise, those are the two motors. This is the ultrasonic sensor. Here we have a touch sensor. We have sound sensors. So, the light sensor is, is looking down. down. At the floor. Okay. So, what will this do? Can you download it? It's uh, seeing the floor. Huh? It's and the black light is. But what will it do, the robot? It will go forward. And you have a switch. <laughs> if it sees black, it turns one side. If it sees white, it turns the other. So what will the robot do? Zigzag. OK, but <laughs> for what purpose? <laughs> when it sees an obstacle. For what purpose? You can help it. Mm. What would the robot do here? Okay. It would follow the line, right? Okay, follow the line <laughs> until it sees an obstacle, right? Okay, now, now you know how to program. You would, you would be able to do any exercise. 